thank you very much. We're meeting with the top executives of the health insurance companies, the biggest companies in our country, probably the biggest companies in the world. I can't imagine being much bigger. But these are the great, uh, the great health insurance companies. And I think tremendous progress is being made. They're willing to do things for the people and their customers, and probably, in a true sense, beyond their customers that normally I don't think they'd be doing. And so I want to thank them. And I'll ask uh, Vice President Pence to maybe give us a little update as to where we are. We'd be very happy to. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, President Trump made it clear from the early days of the coronavirus in the United States that this would be a whole-of-government approach. Uh, we brought the full resources of the federal government to bear. But this President uh, has also called together businesses and industries to make this a whole-of-America approach. Uh, last week at this table, uh, the President met with pharmaceutical leaders. We met with nursing home leaders, uh, the leaders of commercial labs, airline industries. Uh, we're bringing all of uh, the businesses of the country to bear to protect the health of the American people. But today, Mr. President, uh, you directed us to bring together um, insurance companies, health insurance companies that cover uh, through private insurance and through their support of Medicare and Medicaid, uh, almost 240 million Americans. And I'm pleased to report, uh, as you requested, Mr. President, that all the insurance companies here, either today or before today, have agreed to waive all co-pays on coronavirus testing uh, and extend coverage for coronavirus treatment uh, in all of their benefit plans. Uh, and at your direction, uh, Medicare and Medicaid last week already made it clear to Medicare and Medicaid beneficiaries that coronavirus testing and treatment would be covered. Uh, these private insurance carriers have extended that as well. They've also agreed to cover telemedicine uh, so that uh, anyone uh, particularly among a vulnerable senior population would not feel it necessary to go to a hospital or go to their doctor. They'll, they'll know that telemedicine is covered. Uh, these uh, CEOs have also agreed to no surprise billing. Uh, we want people to get tested. Over a million tests are out, uh, thanks to the diligent work of CDC and HHS. More than four million will go out this week. You've worked with commercial labs to expand testing, and that'll continue to increase by the day. Uh, but we want the American people to know that, that uh, they are covered uh, through private insurance. They are covered uh, through Medicare, Medicaid, and there'll be no surprise billing. And finally, Mr. President, as you directed us yesterday, we, we produced uh, helpful information for every American family about how they can keep their home, uh, their school, their business, their establishment uh, safer from uh, the spread of the coronavirus. Now, all of these, uh, all of these uh, uh, major health insurance companies have agreed to convey all this information starting today to all of their customers, as well as to send the CDC's guidance for seniors with underlying health conditions to give them specific recommendations. And so, it, as you requested us, they've all agreed to work with us to communicate information directly to the American people. Because as you've said, Mr. President, while the risk to the average American of contracting the coronavirus remains low, uh, we want a full partnership with industry and give the American people all the information they need to avoid uh, contracting or spreading the coronavirus. And particularly, uh, these companies are going to help us get information to seniors with underlying health conditions who really represent the most vulnerable population to serious outcomes. And I, I know I speak on behalf of the President when I say how grateful we are uh, for the, the collaborative spirit, the generosity, and the partnership represented by the great companies at this table. That's true, very true. And we are working very closely with the cruise line industry, and uh, very, very closely. They're taking very strong steps in terms of uh, people going on and going off. Uh, but they're spending a lot of money, and they are working very hard, and we're, wor we're going to be helping that industry. Uh, likewise, with the airline industry, they're taking very, very strong steps for people coming in to our country, uh, even getting off the planes. So uh, we are working very closely with them. We're helping them. Uh, they're two great industries, and we'll be helping them through this patch. Uh, and so far, I think it's been going very well. You know all about the big ship that came in yesterday. And uh, that's going along incredibly well, working with the state of California successfully, very successfully, also with Canada and with UK. So uh, UK is uh, 
taking their people, their citizens back. And Canada is about 600 people. Uh, they're coming back. Uh, they're being met and uh, brought to planes and being brought very, very, uh, in a very, very dignified fashion back into Canada. So we appreciate all of the help we've had in that, and that's working out very well. Uh, with that, I might just ask a couple of folks if you'd like to uh, make a statement on behalf of the industry. Uh, perhaps, well, would you like to make a statement on behalf of the industry? Sure. I am um, Gail Boudreau, and one of the things that I think is most important is from day one, as an industry and as a company at Anthem, we have been very focused on ensuring access to care and that cost is not an issue for people to have the testing appropriately done. So we're pleased that we're able to continue to expand this access. And as the President said, I think it's really important for all of our customers, our members, and the American people to have this. So we are very Thank supportive you, of the efforts Thank underway. Great job you're doing. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Would anybody else like to make a statement? Even the ones over here, you can turn your head. <laughs> Look at those cameras. Sure, so I'll say on behalf of the industry, yes. we represent uh, the great companies around the table here, but then those that operate at a local level, that we all have the same commitment to making sure that cost is not a barrier to people getting tested and treated. Uh, we want to make sure that we're focused on prevention, testing, right. and treatment, and getting that information out as quickly as we can to make sure people know how to limit the spread of the disease. Very good. Thank you very much. Mr. Please. President, on behalf of the 36 independent Blue Cross Blue Shield plans that ensure one in three Americans, we're pleased to make sure that people have access the test to the coverage that they need. I also want you to know that the commitments we've made also apply to the Federal Employees Program, where we insure over 5 million employees. That's great. Thank you. Thank you all. Maybe. Please. I would just like to say, as a, a large um, servicer of uh, Medicare, that we are very oriented to the, to the aging population. And most importantly, how do we make it as easy as possible for them to right. receive their test? And being able to do it in the home is a very important part of that. And so when we think about telemedicine at home, it reduces great barriers right. to, uh, to allow them to have the testing. And a lot of people now are taking advantage of that really strong advantage. Uh, who else would you suggest? Mm -hmm. Dave Whitman. Mr. Dave, please. Sure. Mr. President, uh, thank you for having us first. Thank you. Almost. And uh, I guess just to extend the conversation here, uh, we're working very hard to protect the health workforce, uh, which we think is essential uh, for to ensure that, that Americans have access uh, to, the, to the proper care getting the health workforce back to work, um, so quickly tested and uh, back um, serving patients is a high priority for us as, a, as an organization serving uh, somewhere around 18 million uh, patients across America. Right. Well, thank you. And Governor Pete Ricketts, uh, Nebraska, Evanville. Nice well, to see you. Mr. Right. President, I just appreciate your leadership and uh, the Vice President's leadership to work with the governors to be able to Make sure we're keeping people healthy in our states. It's been a fantastic uh, cooperation at all levels of government. We really appreciate also all the cooperation of all these executives around the table to make sure that the people in my state and all the states across the country will be able to be able to get the test and not worry about having to do it. Right. Great thing. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody.